In this video, we'll be discussing the comparison of three domain system, which includes the archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. First of all, we see the cell type in all the three domains. The archaea has prokaryotic cell type, the bacteria too has prokaryotic cell type, while as the eukarya domain has eukaryotic cell type. The second thing to compare is the cell wall. The cell wall in archaea varies in composition and it contains no peptidoglycan. This is the important point here. While as in bacteria, the cell wall contains the peptidoglycan, and in eukarya, the cell wall varies in composition and contains carbohydrates in it. So we see here the main difference in all the three domains is the presence of peptidoglycan, while as it's absent in both the bacteria and eukarya. Now let's compare the membrane lipids. In archaea, it's composed of branched carbon chains attached to the glycerol by ether linkage. While as in bacteria, the membrane is composed of straight carbon chains attached to the glycerol by ester linkage. And in eukarya, it's also the same as in bacteria, that is the ester linkage. Then we see the first amino acid in protein synthesis. In archaea, it's methionine. In bacteria, it's formal methionine. And in eukarya, it's methionine like in archaea. Another important comparison is the presence and absence of rRNA loop. This rRNA loop binds to the ribosomal protein. In archaea, it's lacking, while as in bacteria, it's present. And in eukarya, it's also lacking, like in case of archaea. So we see it's only present in bacteria. Now let's get to the structural differences in tRNA. That's in the common arm of tRNA. The common tRNA is lacking in archaea, while as present in both bacteria as well as in eukarya. Then we see the presence and absence of polycystronic mRNA. This polycystronic mRNA is present in both domains of archaea and bacteria, while as it's absent in eukarya. Then we see the differences in the type of ribosomes. The archaea and bacteria domain has got 70S ribosomes, while as eukarya gets the 80S ribosomes, but it's in case of cytoplasmic ribosomes. And finally, we have the DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. There are differences in the number of enzymes in all the three domains. In archaea, it's several enzymes. While as in bacteria, it's only one enzyme. And eukarya has got three of these enzymes. So these are the major differences between these three domains of life, discussed in a precise manner. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.